Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest XI. I just thought I'd take a, a moment to look at the uh, statue and uh, the columns again. Uh, back when I was uh, here at the, you know, originally in the game, uh, I was making some comments about uh, whether um, there were any Egyptian deities with a, a horse's head. Because um, so many of them have animal-headed uh, iconography. And, uh, with a discussion of, uh, Lil Bunny in the comments, um, we could not find any. Which is interesting, and it really tells you something about, uh, the culture, uh, of ancient Egypt. That horses were just not a big thing. I believe that, uh, oh right, it's nighttime, I'm not gonna be able to get in. Uh, I believe that the... Are you actually still open? You're open, there's just no one here. Uh, I believe that, like, the horse-drawn chariots were really first brought to Egypt by the, um... The Hyksos, were, who were, uh, foreign invaders. If I remember correctly. So, that's, uh, just an interesting little aside. I love my ancient history, so... I thought I'd mention it. Go ahead and stay here. Flip it over to daytime. All right. Let's go in. Ah, you are the adventurer who visited us here last, uh, some time ago, are you not? Perhaps you have learned something of Erdwin's lantern on your travels. If so, you must share it with His Majesty the Sultan immediately, please. He is currently asking scholars from all over Adria to bring him information concerning the star. The cats have all gone. Oh, that is terrible! Well, now we really have to... to ...take care of the, uh, Erdwin's lantern problem. Welcome to the Sultan's Palace. You look rather tired. Your journey here was a long and arduous one, I suspect. Though not as arduous as the journeys of others, of course. I have heard reports of many who have been killed while attempting to cross the desert. I wonder if the, uh, ruins are gonna play a part in all this. Those ruins in the other part of the desert, the Celestial Sands. When will I be able to make my escape? Uh, you must not tell anyone about this, but the truth is I've made plans to leave Galopolis. I have a family to think about. My loyalty to them is greater than my loyalty to my kingdom, especially as that kingdom is about to be destroyed. Wow, you are terrible, sir. I mean, first, the, the kitties are all gone, and now you. I will wait for as long as it takes. My betrothed serves in the Gallipolitan army. He was dispatched to a foreign land and has since gone missing. But he will return, of that I am certain. He said he would come home to me, and I believe him. These are the chambers of our exalted sultan and beloved sultana. It has been deemed necessary for me to stand guard here. For in these troubled times, it is quite possible that some desperate soul will enter the palace seeking shelter. Like me? I, you're not doing a very good job of guarding, sir. There's what appears to be a diary here. It has Prince Ferris's progress written on the cover. All takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Day 21. My beloved prince attended his horse riding lessons once more today. To see him training day in, day out, fills uh, to be the greatest leader he can be for the noble knights of Galopolis, fills me with hope for the magnificent future he will no doubt usher in for our realm. Day 24. My beloved prince left the palace today and went out into the streets to speak with the common people. He seeks to study the lifestyles of his subjects firsthand. What a wise and benevolent, benevolent young man he is. I have no doubt he will make a great sultan someday. Yay! Yay! We're jumping on the bed! It's the sultan's bed! I'm terrible. Alright. Oh, hi. 
I will never flee. These are difficult times for Galopolis, and naturally I am most concerned, but I will never abandon his exalted majesty or the palace. As long as the Sultan and Sultana remain in the city, I will be here to protect them. You're, you're, you're a maid. You don't exactly protect them, except maybe from dirt. Which, to be fair, is, is definitely something to uh, consider uh, protecting people from. Never retreat in the face of adversity. Do not falter, men. Do not whimper. A falling star is no match to the immovable resolve of a desert knight. We will defend Galopolis at all costs, just as the pledge dictates. This is too much. I understand the importance of knightly training, and I do not deny that it is necessary. But to claim that we can prevent a star from falling... From... Prevent a star from falling star is simply foolish. Okay. Never retreat. Erdwin's lantern is simply another form of adversity that we knights pledged to overcome. We must do as the captain says. We must defend Galopolis at all costs, even if... <laughs> even if it costs our lives. You wish to speak to Prince Ferris? A thousand pardons. He is not present at the moment. Oh. Oh, Princey Poo, where are you? Yay, I can jump on the prince's bed. I'm terrible. Pretty sure I've read these, but I'll double check them. Still not ready yet. Okay. That's got to be some quest later that... Side quest or main quest element. His Majesty is in the throne room. W w which is this room? If you're looking for His Majesty, you will find him in the throne room. But please, try not to bother him too much, and be sure to show due respect. Such firm resolution. Ah, it is you, Prince Ferris's friend. His Highness is talking to his most exalted majesty, the Sultan, at the moment. He appears to be in a rather determined mood. Uh, he has set his mind on something, I am sure of it. I have known that expression si since he was but a child. Prince Ferris seems excited. I know not what Prince Ferris speaks with his majesty concerning, but it is clear that the topic excites him greatly. Tra la 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 Sleep, lost souls, be peaceful at last. Thy sufferings end, miseries past. Go drift along among the dunes, farewell friends. Be still, be still. Sleep now till time's end. Oh, well, that's kind of morbid. This is highly irregular. This man has entered the palace unbidden, and though I have asked him to leave, he simply ignores me. It seems he has come to the balcony in order to get a better view of Erdwin's lantern. But one does not simply roam the Sultan's home without permission. Hello? Oh, but you're fine. You are clearly a Gallipolitan soldier. Good point. Watch your <laughs> Cool, blimey! Fancy us getting to see a massive great big star up close like this. Talk about lucky, eh? Yeah, it's, it's like gonna kill everyone, sir. But yeah, I mean, I guess you can be lucky, it's fine. Totally being respectful here. Kitty! Not all of the cats have fled. We still have one good kitty. Who's your good little kitty? The morning Erdwin's lantern commenced its descent. All the cats of the palace fled. I have not seen them since. They do say that the feline spirit is more sensitive to changes in the world than that of the human. Alright, well, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I figured that would uh, My boy, trigger please. a sequence. Your reckless heroics will get you killed. I'll, I'll be Prince then. That's fine. I mean, it worked for... Uh, uh, 
It, it worked for Alden uh, Shapir. Fear not, father. I will take all necessary precautions. By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved and Galopolis will be saved. If I join you, can I get into the Celestial Sands? Hello? 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 hello. Alright, hello! Ah, it is you. Thank you once again for all you did for my son. Hey, you're welcome. I... What in the name of the... Surely this cannot be! Nah, it's just a doppelganger. It's been a while, eh, your majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the colloquy of kings and the disaster that followed. Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. I know that. Hello? Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. We allowed the world to be destroyed. We brought this disaster upon ourselves. Well, sort of. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. I can blame you. This is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Carnelian and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erdwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? Uh, Mr. Blankface back here stands ready to uh, take care of the problem. Sadly, very little. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Yeah, I mean, I could see those clearly, too. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your lad sure of this? He certainly appeared to be. In fact, he has taken one of our most learned scholars to the Celestial Sands in order to investigate the ruins more closely. It is there that we believe the star will make its landing. I see. Reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these ruins ourselves, eh? Shall we head out after the prince? Yeah, seems fine. It would put my mind at ease if you would, Lord Robert. I cannot help but worry about him being abroad in such dangerous circumstances. Ah. Hmm. My god, my I made thanks. a sound! I will instruct the guards to permit you passage through the checkpoint. Journey safely. Thank you. Hello? I am a little worried about Ferris, of course, but he is an adult. He is capable of making his own choices and of taking responsibility for them. He must fulfill his own destiny on, in his own way. My role as his mother is simply to watch over him as he does so. Well, I mean, you could also offer advice. That's okay. Something you can do. These are huge, huge chairs. I cannot help but worry. As you saw, Prince Ferris has ventured into the... Uh, ventured north into the, the Celestial Sands. He hopes to decipher the runes that cover Erdwin's lantern. I hate to impose upon you, but should you travel to the Sands yourself, Please check on my boy. I cannot help but worry about him. To reach the sands, you will need to pass through the checkpoint west of the city. No, you 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 not not putting uh, put more uh, gold in your chest. All right, fine. Uh, you know, let's just zoom there. Whee! I still resent that we don't bonk our heads. Let's go ahead and grab that iron ore. Bonk. 
somewhere around here is another one. There it is. Strip of snake skin. Oh, hey. No, 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 no. You agreed to do this. Come. We must move closer. We cannot hope to read the runes from here. I'll protect you guys. But, your highness, I am sorry. It is too dangerous. I'm afraid I must refuse. Do you have a means of deciphering the symbols without entering the celestial sands? Well, no, but... Uh... Oh, Principu! Hello, darling! Long time no see. Uh-oh. See what his reaction is gonna be. Silvando! Uh, what an... Uh, unexpected pleasure. What, no comment about moi? The Sultan said you were out here in the scary sands trying to read runes of a falling star. Huh. Guess you grew up to be quite the brave boy, hmm. Uh, it's only been a few months. I am simply doing my duty to my people. But what about you? <laughs> what brings you to the sands? The same thing as you, your highness. We have come to investigate Erdwin's lantern. Sir Hendrik? The Sir Hendrik? Ah, oh, the hero of Heliodor here in my kingdom! Uh, I've stri stripped him of his uh, knighthood now, by the way, just so you know. You know who I am, your highness? But of course! You are my hero! Oh god. You are every aspiring knight's hero! Oh god. To serve under your command is my life's ambition! I feel a little left out here. I am honored, your highness. I did all the, the work. The courage you have shown in venturing out here suggests that you would make a fine knight, wherever or whomever you serve. Um, you don't know him like we do. Truly, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Oh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. The lower left ventricle. Sorry to butt in, your highness, but might I ask how your investigations are going? You were looking a wee bit frustrated back there when we arrived. What happened to the scholar? Did he escape in this, uh, while we were talking? Indeed I was, old man. That fool of a scholar is too frightened to accompany me any further into the sands. I am not one for learning. The symbols will mean nothing to me, which leaves me in quite a predicament. Well, I think I might be able to help out there, if you'll allow me. How can you help out, Rab? You are some manner of wizened ancient? <laughs> Excellent. I would be very much obliged. <laughs> uh, uh, can, can, I, can I call you that, Rab? Your wizened ancient, Mr. Wizened Ancient? The runes can be best seen from the ruins in the center of the sands. Meet me there. You want to take any guards with you? No? Alright, fine. L look after his highness, please. Uh, a thousand pardons. Uh, I wish I could accompany you, but the fear is too much. Truly, I cannot move an inch. I believe Prince Ferris has made his way towards the ruins in the middle of the celestial sta sands. Do not allow any harm to come to him, please. Yeah. No guarantees. You guys are new. Robo Robins. Well, I think that this is going to be a vacuum smash. Time. Oh. Hmm. Right. They uh they don't take my Ow! Oh my god. They have machine guns. The hell. Um Let's go with Kakrak. That was not much damage. Well, uh... Seems like a good time to Giga Slash. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I had a feeling that they might take extra All damage well from lightning. That ends well. Had a good feeling about that. Alright. Uh, let's see. See, I got one up and around the corner. Oh, more uh, axolotls. I see you.
They don't actually come towards me, do they? No. Doesn't seem like it. Hey, Spitzfire! How's it going? Aw, oh, look, he's asleep. One shot at him. Oh, that felt good. That felt really good. All right, what else do we got around here? I guess we'll f double check you. Yeah, they're just night aberrants, which we fought. Ow! Oh my, uh, Jade's not doing so hot. Partly because I meant to uh, heal up and I, I neglected to. Let's go ahead and more heal her. Let's try Frost Fang. Shall run cold. Mm. Didn't do all that much. Ow, stop it. Right, I need to change my armor. I forgot about that. Victory is ours. Uh, do 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 equipment. Get back onto the vest for success, please. Thank you. You have red eyes. Yes, you do. Can you do a harvest moon on the Robo Robin? It's pretty good damage. Lost power pep, that's fine. We'll do a Giga Slash. Did not kill uh, the crabs. Multi heal. And then. Helichopter. Item there, a Duneberry. Bonk. I have so much fun hitting everything. Uh, I will rest on the way back. Let's see what we've got in here. Vicious Drac Mages. You're gonna cast Kasap? That's not nice. Go with the Vacuum Smash again. Pretty good. And Giga Slash. Goodbye. We win again. All right, we've already fought them.
Don't care about them. Don't care about you. You. Really any of you. Well, of course I missed all of those guys. There's Cactolotls there. I'll take the yellow eye. Alright, so... How are we doing on... Oh my lord. Wow. Nearby monsters. Alright, there's one other thing that we have not seen. Um, might be a night creature. Because I don't think we're going to get rain. Uh, I'm going to go hit the camp and then uh, go out at night to see if uh, there's any changes. There's cactolotls out there, too. Jeez. You'll not remember this, of course, but back when I was king of Dundrasil, I had a reputation for refusing to let anything lie until I'd got to the bottom of it. So Ferdwin's Lantern really does have some runes carved into the side of it. We're not leaving the sands till we've worked out what they say. Don't, you're, don't pull out the porn again. The Prince of Galopolis appears to be an admirer of mine. This is naturally a great honor. He would be welcome to join my unit once these tumultuous times are over. Though I suspect he may need a little more training. Our little princey poo dashed off ahead. He said he was heading for the ruins in the middle of the desert. Let's hurry up and get after him, honey. We know what he's like when he's left to his own devices. Erdwin's lantern appears to be directly above the ruins in the center of the celestial sands. It's unlikely to fall on our heads, I know, but getting that close to it seems a little risky. It'll be fine. That all seems normal. Yep. All right. Let's uh, let's look for some uh, night creatures. There aren't any out here. Ah, there we go. Hi. Alright, so we got uh, Vicious Shades. Let's go ahead and uh, vacuum smash the Vicious Shades. Well, they don't have that many hit points. And yet that one is still alive. Interesting. All is well that ends well. Oh, there you are. Alright, so... Info, defeated monster list. Yep. That's everything. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Narspicious as long as we're here. Okay, let's go ahead and rest until dawn. And when we come back next time, we will uh, go meet up with, uh, with the prince. 
Okay, I really can't get a good view of it from here. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll go uh, meet up with the prince, see uh, what's going on, and uh, see if we can solve the problem of Erdwin's Lantern. See you next time, everyone.